Hey Beer Geeks, Nitch here. Uh, it is Paris Beer Week. So I'm not drinking a beer right now because I'm gonna be drinking like all day, every day for the next week. Um, but enjoy whatever you're having. Uh, first, I kind of just wanted to go through what it means, Paris Beer Week here, because it's a little bit different. Uh, Something like um, Good Beer Week in Australia is the concept where um, all kinds of different bars are invited to do things that are oriented around good beer. And they submit um, to the organization and they are able to be part of an event. Paris Beer Week, this is the third year that we're doing this. Um, I'm sort of involved, not really, like I'm not part of the planning, but I'm doing stuff. I'm doing this thing with parasites, which is awesome. Um, we're trying to connect people and get them to go to different locations uh, with these boards that we're calling Pay It Forward boards. Um, what we're doing with that is that we're also putting on locations that aren't officially part of Paris Beer Week. Um, as much as I love everybody who's doing it, and I just love the idea that we're having anything at all, um, Paris Beer Week is a little segregated. It is uh, exclusive. It's people that are running it really want to continue, like they want to control it. Um, a good example that was given to me by one of the um, founders is that it's more like a music festival where they want to approve all of the bands that are playing and not just leave it open. So um, it's kind of repetitive, uh, particularly for particularly for beer geeks because um, like we're all going around in places we all already know. Um, so our boards are gonna kind of try and encourage people to um, go to some other places. So there's that. In saying that, here is my schedule for the week for Paris Beer Week. I'm gonna post this up on my blog too at uh, ninjatasenitch.com so you guys can kind of see where I'm going and check stuff out. I just still don't have a phone because my phone was lost as I explained already. Uh, lost, it was stolen. My phone was stolen. Um, so I'm just gonna fucking be winging it around. Um, so if you wanna know where I am or what I'm doing, this is it. And this is uh, my schedule. So, um, today, uh, Friday, it's starting right now, and um, I'm going to be running around uh, organizing a lot of other stuff for planning, so I'm probably not going to get to do most of the things tonight, um, but I'm going to stop by some, some stuff. So, um, Beers and Records, they're doing a tasting of Polish craft beers and a DJ set starting about 5.30. That sounds awesome. Uh, it's out of my way because it's in Montreux, but I would suggest that deal uh, for sure. I know everybody is going to be going to Rosemary for the uh, Magic Burger UK collaboration. It's with DBI, who is uh, uh, Distribution Bier International, like whatever. It's a uh, content who's just the nicest fucking person. He um, is helping organize this thing with the restaurant Rosemary and the Dream of Burgers. Um, that's just total win. That starts at seven. Uh, Olivia Camarabier, which I would totally go to. They're doing a um, tasting with Piggy Brewing, which is like Polish, I believe. I don't really know. But that's why I would go to that if I had the time. I don't. You should go. Uh, Levin Moose is doing a tap takeover with uh, Canadian beer, Quebecois. Um, so I would check out that for sure. Uh, my schedule for tomorrow, Saturday, I'm probably going to, um, I'm totally going to go to Super Beer because, um, Nico's doing sandwiches and beer and his sandwiches are amazing. So I'm for sure going to do Super Beer at probably like a little bit noon-ish. Um, and then Le Toilet is doing an American craft brewers takeover and they're, they're doing that kind of a little bit earlier and I know it's going to be super busy so I'm going to hit that up right away. Uh, if you think that you're going to be able to roll into Toilet later on a Saturday, you are kidding yourself. There's no glassware outside so um, I would get there early if I were you. Um, but also Super Quant has a, a great event that's helping people understand that beer made with wheat can be different colors, it's not just blanche which is typically what a lot of people uh, order here. It's also like a girl type of beer. So they're helping people discover stuff. Uh, Super cool on tonight, uh, Saturday night, yeah. Um, Sunday, I'm gonna do the uh, beer and bikes like tour, cause that sounds fun. But I also wanna stop into um, La Binus and check out uh, Brasserie de Lettre. 
because they're doing like a tasting of stuff. Um, La Fimousse has an American beer brunch, which I'm not going to, but that one sounds interesting as well. Um, Sunday night, we're going to be installing our Parasites art thing at Chilongo, so you guys can kind of come to that, but it's super chill because we're just putting up art and Chilongo's not really open, so it's like an indoor picnic. Um, Monday, there is a live brewing session with Dudes and Beers at Beer Cult. I'm going to check that out for sure. And then again, back to Super Beers because they're doing like a music and um, just drinking and I just like that place. Um, and then Express de Lyon has um, another brewing thing with some Americans who recently opened up a place in Spain, Basque area. So I want to go check out those people. Uh, that's my Monday, pretty chill. Uh, my Tuesday is a little bit crazier. There's um, a couple different tastings. There's one at Beer Cult and then um, Super Cool again. The Festa Nu is doing some like astronomy and beer, which could be interesting. Um, but for sure, I'm gonna go to dinner at Le Triangle because my friend Camille is cooking and uh, Brasserie Grand Paris are going to be there and I'm gonna do a collaboration. Le Triangle is just such a great place and Camille is a great cook and Grand Paris has great beer. So I'm for sure gonna do that. And then afterward, uh, back in my area in the ninth, Lulu White is doing a thing with the Brumont Celeb. So I'm for sure gonna be doing that. Um, what else? Wednesday, Cabo gonna be there. Um, then I'm gonna hit up uh, Hoppy Corner for their Cask Madness, and that's gonna be crazy. That's like that again. I'm gonna try and get early because I know like all the beer geeks are gonna hit that up. Um, and then Wednesday night, I'm going to Le Festa New because my friend Lorenzo from La Lausanne Ria is cooking at Le Festa New, which sounds awesome. And then again, Lulu White is doing stuff all week, um, but they're not actually part of Paris Beer Week. So they have another interesting thing, uh, Stereo Lips release and a DJ set, which is probably gonna be pretty cool. Um, Thursday, there's a beer garden that I wanna check out. Um, Olivia Kamalabia is doing a drink and draw with um, this guy from Beaver Town, which sounds fun. I like drinking and drawing. And then 66 Yeast, which I don't think a lot of people know about. It's a little pizza place. They're using yeast from Goud and they're going to be making some pizza. So I want that. Um, and I'm going to try and get all that done kind of earlier because I want to go to the Outland Soft opening. Congratulations, Outland is finally opening up their place. It's kind of far out, but I want to check it out. And then they are going to end at about seven o'clock and all the bike people are going to bike back into town. Um, and then if I'm still alive, the Festa New is doing a tap takeover. Um, with DJ self and like a DJ set, the brew is gonna do DJ stuff, which can be cool. And then, um, as you can see, it's like repetitive the locations. I'm trying to spread it out. I don't want to go to the same places over and over again. But the events that are interesting are kind of the same things. Um, Friday night, I'm gonna go to Twelve Wheat because it's a brew battle. A bunch of people in the beer community all got together in, in March and um, made some made some beer. And so it's a, we're gonna taste all of it. And, and see who has the best one. I'm excited for that. Uh, and then the B News, I want to meet the guys from La Dibauch, which would be great. Um, there's an aperitivo thing that looks interesting. I don't know what this place is, so I want to go see that. Um, Poblan Brun, they're doing a tasting and a cheese thing that I might hit up. And then um, Brewberry at night has this uh, Estonian brewery that's doing a tap takeover. I don't generally go to Brewberry, um, but my friend Clem, I was looking over his schedule and he convinced me that I should probably go. So, Saturday is the grand finale, um, but uh, also during that day, uh, my friend Camille told me that in the morning they are doing the McKellar Running Club, celebrating their one year anniversary starting at Express de Lyon. So if you were into running, you can check out that in the morning and then you can go to the grand finale. Um, and if you're not going to the grand finale, there is Alebiak Malabiar is having a caps tournament, which is a really fun game. Um, and then Sunday there's like a brewer's brunch, I think it's Lady Nibon who's doing that. Um, so definitely check out Paris Beer Week if you are around and you're here. Tom, I don't know if you're here yet, but you would better get here. Um, yeah, there's also some tours going on, um, a walking tour. It's, it's free in different areas. Uh, it's in French, but uh, you're going through uh, the history of uh, different breweries throughout Paris, which is interesting. There's that. And then... Uh, Mike at Brew Unique has multiple different events that he's doing. He is a fantastic brewer. Brew Unique is a very innovative concept. It's the first of its kind here in Paris. It's a, um, a place where you can go and learn how to, how to brew. And um, Mike always creates amazing beers. Um, so I don't think I need to say it all the time. 
but he's doing some some really fun ticketed events for like how to brew with different malts and different hops and a uh, great place to learn, educate, and just have super crazy amounts of fun. So that's my Paris Beer Week. That's what I hope it's going to be. Uh, again, you can check out my online to kind of see where I'm going to be. Um, if you guys have any fun events going on around where you are, let me know because I always love to stalk people's <laughs> festival events. And uh, maybe later we can talk a little bit more about the differences between different kinds of festivals. Uh, because again, the fact that Paris Beer Week isn't really inclusive, it, it's kind of a private thing where just kind of like circle jerking each other. It's interesting. Um, but you know, we're getting word out and, and education to an extent, and it's open to the public. Um, obviously, and these events are to inspire people to discover the vrai bon bien, which is, you know, uh, what our mission is here. We want to educate and entertain through craft beer. So that's me, Mitch. Uh, love to hear from you guys always. Et uh, merci, bientôt, au revoir.